You can personalize the invoices and quotes you send to your customers by choosing from a variety of templates and adding logos. You can also enter any terms and conditions you want to appear on your layouts and enter your default invoice numbering and quote options. To enter your invoice settings, click the Settings tab. Then choose Invoice and Quote Settings. If you have a company logo, you can add this to your template. If you want to add images to the bottom of your invoices, you can also add up to two association logos. Just click the Upload Image option and browse to the image file and click Open. We recommend you use an image size of 280 by 200 pixels or less and a file size of no larger than 64 kilobytes. To change the template for your invoices and quotes, scroll down to the template layouts and select your preferred layout. You can also amend your invoice numbering. For example, you might want your invoice numbering system to start from a particular number. Or you might want to change the prefix of your invoice numbers from the default setting of SI. You can also change the default prefix for sales credit notes and quick entries. You can also change your sales quote settings. Here you can set the default expiry days for your sales quotes, the sales quote number prefix, and the next quote number. For each invoice you send, you might have a standard set of terms and conditions. You can enter these here so that they appear on every invoice by default. You can also add your quote terms and conditions. Enter any notes you want to appear on your invoices, credit notes and quotes. You can select to show these notes on invoices and credit notes. This section could be used for bank details or useful information such as opening times. If you sell goods or services to VAT registered customers in the EU, although VAT is zero rated, you should inform your customers on their invoices of the VAT rate which would normally apply if you were to sell the item within the UK. You can do this using the EU Sales Descriptions area. The text automatically appears depending on the VAT rate you choose when you create the invoice. If required, you can amend the default text that appears on the invoice here. Once you've amended your invoice and quote settings and you're happy with these, click Save. You have now successfully entered your invoice and quote settings.